Oracle, if you had a thousand dollars, what kind of computer would you go with? Um. Oh man, here we go. We are it's here. another Friday. Shakespeare, what up, homie? What up? What up? <laughs> Who else is here? Chris Cash, what oh, up, man? We got enough damn. Yeah, we. we hey, I need, need more air horn on that air horn, cuz. Hey. hey. I need more horn on the air horn. Cause. There we go. There we go. There we go. After you send beats to an A and R, when can you send those beats again? Why would you send them again? Don't send them again. Yeah. You already sent them once. If yeah. they didn't respond, bro, keep it pushing, bro. Send some other stuff. Or, yeah, but don't stop send them to somebody else. I'm like, yo, until somebody say something, you send them to whoever. You yeah, want. they they knew to whoever. If they ain't heard it, it's new to them. That's a fact. Hey, man. Oracle is the, is the sound guy, man. There you go. I'm I'm the sauce guy. You know what I mean? We put our talents together, man. You did. Hey, yeah. man. Listen. We make a good team, bro. I think so, man. Chemistry, dog. All right, that's Chemistry. it. Chemistry and time, man. Hey, salute. Hey, man. Salute, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Salute, yeah, bro. For sure. That's the thing, man. You got to get a team, man. You got to get people that you can build with. You establish good chemistry with. Y'all get a good mm-hmm. working relationship. The longer you work with somebody, the more you all know each other. The communication opens up. And things, things can mm-hmm. happen. Amazing things, like the No Games Kit. Facts. Yeah. Uh, it was about Eve didn't like the cover of a mag that Nikki did. She said she wasn't a good uh, role model for the kids. Nikki made a song about it. People assume it's about Cardi, but it's not. Mm. Straight he, from the street sports report. My thing is, who's assuming these uh, rappers should be role models? Yeah. Exactly. Hey, listen, parents, it's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you. You should be the biggest role model. And... Just because someone reaches a certain amount of success in life, I don't necessarily think that they are now responsible for your kids. Facts. That's pretty damn late. Yeah. They're not responsible for your kids. That's your iPad's job, not the rapper's job. Facts. <laughs> You're responsible for sheltering yeah. them from all this craziness. Exactly. So no royalties with your kid? You don't receive any royalties? Wow, a lot of, lot, no. Yeah, no. it's called royalty free. Yeah, royalty free. For you? Yeah. Just for you. We give you the tools, man. There you go. You know what I mean? When you when you making a cake uh, baking business, you know what I mean? You're not paying every cake for the eggs. You know what I mean? You just buy the eggs. You know what there I mean? You Whatever do. you make with it, that's what you make. That's what you do. That is true. When you buy a keyboard that has sounds in it, you don't pay cord for using that bass. You don't pay them for using that thing. You bought the keyboard, and now you make whatever you make with it. It's the same with us. And um, one of the biggest reasons why is because we were once... You guys. In some ways, we still are. Nobody got time to be doing a whole bunch of that. You know what I mean? We want to provide you all with the best tools possible so you can get out there and make as much noise as possible. Hopefully, you holler at your boys on the... When you make it to the top, you just shout us out. We'll work it out from there. Facts. Yes, yeah. Hello from the UK. Hey, what up, UK? What up, Uck? Well, we trying to we trying to go. Yeah, we need to be out there, man. Shout out to y'all. Facts. Uh, what's your best advice for producers in recreating a sound with a uh, without a sample? Nothing wrong with samples, but sometimes they take forty to seven percent of the pub. Yo, really, that's a loaded question. You just what are you good at? Go across the things that you're good at. Uh, playing for people, people will start to tell you what they like about what you do, and you just capitalize on that and make that more of your sound. And I would say understand the processing too, because a lot of stuff. The reason why certain samples feel a certain way is the seventies they had certain processes they used. Mm. The eighties had different, you know what I mean. So if you want it to feel kind of like that, then you put those processes on it. As dope. Shout out Tristan for being genius. Hey. <laughs> okay. What is your opinion on age and breaking into the industry? People always say it's a young man's game, but there's constant exceptions. Two chains. Jay Z was twenty six when he first really uh, released his first album. Listen, this is what I know. The best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. The second best time is today. I will say it's a young man's game, but when you're young, you don't really have responsibilities, so you can focus a lot of time. Oh, yeah, shit. that's true. When you're 30, you probably got kids and stuff. You can't focus on much time. So that's why it's harder. But if you could still do the thing, yeah, people don't care about how old you are. People care if it's a hit or not. Yeah. That's all they care about. Exactly. So, hey, you can live up to the challenge, man. It's a challenge. If anything, it's something for you to conquer. And what's life without the challenges, right? Is it wise to corner off a certain part of the music production game? Uh, Corner off? Yeah, I guess like niche down. I guess you could. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, the more niche you are, the more you know your 
audience. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that if you really know how to finesse your niche. Oh man, real quick, shout out to um, is it IMOG? Yeah, yeah, IMOGs. Super, super dope producer. Hey, always showing love. Actually, if you check my page, I have a lot of videos that I repost from him, and I oh, repost a lot of people. That's the one that I, I just watched one the other day. Yeah. He's playing the melodies. Killing fire. it. Fire. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, seen that. Girl. What up, man? Fire, man. Shout out to you, bro. Uh, Oracle, this is a question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, do you recommend any cheap PCs for music production? I'm only 15 and broke as hell. Yes. Actually, you can get a brand new PC that will fit your production needs, I'm guessing, for about $700 to $900. Absolutely brand new. That's not counting um, eBay and other things that you can kind of find probably that same thing for $500 or $600. Uh, Oracle, if you had $1,000, what kind of computer would you go with? Um... A uh, Asus, uh, probably, or a Razer. Any any type of gaming PC. Probably a Razer or Asus ROG. Mm. Yep. Uh, do you suggest you find a manager or wait till your sound makes a manager approach you? Oh, man. Trezor always has the best answer for this question. Do you have something to manage? Ooh, points. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because uh, you got to think. A manager makes money off of you, right? If I place a beat, my manager makes a percentage off of what I make. Only reason he's gonna want to work for me is if I have a product that he can sell. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. That's like remember Cut Code or was the the knives, the, knives, yeah, the yeah. vector. You know if nobody if ain't nobody really buying them vacuum cleaners and knives for all that money. You know what I mean? True. That's true. That product true. ain't that good, so you really don't want to sell it. You know it feels like a jug, mm. but if you got a good product, people are into it. Easy to sell. People want to be a part. Gems. You know what I mean? Jim Carrey, <laughs> Jim Jones. So I would say, man, man, a lot of this you could do on your own. That's true. Or you don't have a manager, do you? I don't have a manager. I've never had a manager at all. I have a lawyer, but I've never had a manager. In 10 years, I've had four managers for real. I had a couple people that's in between. But I would get people to test out. Like, yo, you got six months. Let's figure it out. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Dope. Yeah. That's good. That, you know, have that little window. Mm -hmm. like, listen. Let's see what we can do. There you go. You know kids are fire when Jermaine Dupri using them kid game on lock. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that, man. Shout out to... <laughs> shout out to the legend Jermaine Dupri for uh, using XO. Not only did he use XO, it wasn't like a thing like I sent it to him. I don't even know him. Honestly, but he bought it. Facts. I, I wasn't quite sure it was him. I even questioned. Yeah, he, about he, it. he hit me like, "You think that's him?" And I was like, oh, "I don't know." And yeah, you know, people be out here funny style. Yeah, like, oh, it's a fake book. But then the video pops up forty eight hours later where he's using it in the studio. So man, shout out to Jermaine Dupri, always um, a legend. Facts. You know, you know JD. Yeah, I know JD. Yeah. Cool people, man. I, man, I spent a lot of time at Southside Studio working with like Young Brian, Michael Cox. Uh, who else? I mean, I just be over there, man. Yeah, man. A lot of these people, man, they've been like my mentors from afar. Like JD, I watched him a lot. Sean Garrett, oh, watched yeah. him. You know what yeah. I mean? Brian, yeah. Soaking up the game, man. Yeah, so shout out to them, man. They be using the sounds, man. Yeah, that's a real thing, though. You know, you legit when the legends they using your joints. The legends are using them, and we doing stuff with the up and coming legends. Look, man, we covering all bases, legends bro. Legends in the making, we were. Hey, man. Wow. Hey, man. Wow. The brand is brought. <laughs> Something that people don't talk about, who your manager is plays a big part. I had a manager that everybody hated. At the very beginning of my career, nobody liked this manager. And it caused me so... I had to leave him because it would cause me issues. I would like send records in. They'd be like, oh, this your manager? No, we cool. Dang. That's real. That's real. So who you're associated with plays a big part in a lot of things. So I would be careful with that. Yeah, so your manager has to have good relationships. And also, I will say... The further ahead you climb, and this is one of the things that kept me from getting a manager like later on in the game, is because you get to a point where you might not meet a manager that knows more people than you do. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you don't want your manager hitting you up like, yeah, can you uh, get in touch with such and such? So I, like, you know. So, Oracle, what's your plugs, man? We got 120. Listen, 112, man. Sorry. 112, what I'm plugging is... The all-new No Games kit, hey. the official AO and Keys kit. If you don't know who AO and Keys are, they produce for Cardi B, Chris Brown, hey. uh, just Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa, everybody in the world, they top 40 producers. Uh, and plus, the kit was done with them and your boys from Unquantized Podcast, me and Trezor. Hey. Pick it up at soundoracle.net or at theproducerkit.com. 
I will be announcing the winners of the XO contest on Monday, uh, by the way. E. And if you're in Atlanta, I'm DJing this Wednesday, smothering the cover. I'm playing remixes. Woo. I'm playing uh, my remixes, playing some original joints. So this is going to be dope, man. Hey. This is awesome, yeah. Wednesday, uh, Edgewood. Nice. And uh, people asking when is this meetup? We don't know, but we think in June, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we're thinking June. If y'all like June, uh, spam some hearts. Spam some hearts if June works for you. Yeah. But, you know, we try to do this sooner than later because the people want it. The people want it, dog. You know when you out and people just saying unquantized, you know what I mean? That's true. Like they ran for you last night. I've seen the hearts too. I think hey. June is it. YouTube, what do you think? Does June work for you? Man, let us know. Let, let's get it. Man, but as usual, thank y'all for tuning in on another Friday, man. Listen. <laughs> I love y'all. Unquantized podcast. Salute.